early Sunday morning off to the beach to do some pedestrian mobile. I'm using the Wade Tenor vertical antenna, about 5 metres tall, and the FT817. This time I'll also do some whisper, comparing signal reports I get from when I'm in the water to when I step out of it. Let's go. I'm standing on the deck, transmitting whisper. This is my first test. Running five watts. Just had an idea. Before I go down to the water, I'll go a bit further inland where it's a residential street highway just at the end of the street. I'll only be maybe 100 or 200 metres inland but it may well affect the reception reports I get. Different ground beneath me so I had to adjust the antenna coupler right here to get a good match. Now going on to the sand. I've just come from the deck about 20 metres towards the water, now standing on dry sand. Now the sand is wetter on damp sand I have had to adjust the antenna coupler a little bit now right in the water with the strap around my ankle making contact with the salt water Anyway, that's my mornings of pedestrian mobile whisper. Now back home and had a look at WhisperNet to see what results I got. Now, there were a lot of stations received my signal. If you have a look at the spreadsheet, um, up to around 40 when I was standing on wet sand. So there are a lot of stations. Um, the only ones I've listed with those that heard me when I was on the street. And you can see that in the far left two columns where it's under green. So I've listed the North American stations first and the numbers you see in the columns are the signal strengths in uh, minus dB. And the columns are by time, so you can see that there were two transmissions when I was on the street and two in most other places. The idea of listing only the stations that detected me on the street was that they had a higher likelihood of detecting me in other locations, which was nearer and nearer the water. As for distances, if you have a look distance to water there's a row there the street i estimated was about 100 meters the deck where i started was 30 meters dry sand 15 meters wet sand 5 meters and in the water was zero meters and you can see that the number of spots is higher as you go towards the water or at least it peaked where it was wet sand now 
I've got no idea why it's actually less when I was standing in the water. My theory is that as I was using a speaker to microphone thing from the mobile app that was sending the whisper tones, there might have been extraneous noise from near the water. There wasn't much wind, but when I was standing in the water and there were waves, that was actually quite noisy. So I think it might have been nothing to do with the RF path, but possibly extraneous noise getting in and reducing the number of stations that received me. But those who could receive me, uh, it was at quite strong signal levels. Anyway, if we have a look here, um, there's a lot of numbers. We won't go through them all. Um, I've listed the stations in clusters, like the, most of them were Americans. Then there are a couple at EA8, Canary Islands, and then New Zealand in the last grouping. And what I found was that signals did indeed get stronger as you went towards the water. Um, what I did was I averaged the dBs for the all the stations on the list. Um, on the street, the average report was 18.9. On the deck, minus 16.1. Dry sand, minus 14.6. Wet sand minus 11.8 and in the water minus 11. Now, if I use the in water as the reference point, I call that zero. Wet sand was minus 0.8, so pretty negligible. Dry sand was minus 3.6, the deck was minus 5.1, so um, more of a difference between the wet sand and dry sand compared to dry sand and the deck, which was probably only a metre or so above the sand, but further in from the water. I had it as 30 metres in from the water versus 15. And then standing on the street, um, about 100 metres in, it was minus 7.9. So effectively, the difference between the water and being on the street, even though I was only 100 metres in, is similar to the difference between a dipole and a three element Yagi, um, nearly 8 dB. So that is significant. And the nearer the water, the better it gets. And as I said before, I questioned some of the in water numbers, but Provided you're on wet sand near the water, then that's almost as good as being in the water. So, yeah, that's um, if we look at New Zealand. Um, yeah, of course, with New Zealand, there wasn't water in between me and the, the path, or at least there is, but not right near me. Whereas for the others, which were the United States, Long Path, it was Port Phillip Bay for the first 50 or 60 kilometers from where I was standing. And same with the EA8 stations, uh, also over the bay. So that's a summary. Being right near the water, salt water, it really, really helps.